map maker in Britain, I, I make orienteering maps. Map making and snart are more of the same process. With map making, you see what's on the ground, you plot it on the map. Snow art, you draw a diagram of what you want to produce, and then you plot it on the ground by, by much the same process, in fact. My art is more a challenge to reproduce a mathematical object accurately. It's not sort of hand and brush sort of stuff. It's more geometry and drawing. I'm trying to get it right and trying to get it accurate. The more accurate it is, the better it looks. You start with a kind of like a skeleton in the middle and then you add more and add more which is exactly the process that makes you make snowflakes. It's the way to do it. I can't really think of any other way you could possibly do a snowflake. Skiing one day, there's a nice flat frozen lake, so I went into this nice flat area of snow and I said, let's draw something. Walked in a straight line to the middle of the lake, I got my compass out and I made five azimuths and I counted out my paces to make five points of the star and then I joined up the points into a star and I filled in the rest of it and next day I went onto the chairlift and I said, cool, look at that, doesn't that look good? I should do some more of that and that's how it all started. you out of your ordinary everyday life and just get up and you have breakfast and you go to work and you go back home again and you watch the news and you see if it's on television and then you go on the internet and you go to bed and to be really amazed by something it just sort of puts you onto a different sort of level, a different plane.